sleeve high low cardigan. So I love this because it provides what we what we want this time of the year. Just that little bit of extra coverage that you might be looking for in a way that feels like seasonally appropriate. Just reduced first day. It's been thirty-seven dollars. No reorder. It's now twelve dollars to change on Easy Pay. This is a lightweight sweater material. This is like a Rundle it's, 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 it's a cotton rayon blend. It's mm -hmm. a very popular fabric for us. My big call out is that it's a short sleeve cardigan. Yeah. With that raglan sleeve. So I really, love it. really nice fabrication. So this is the green tea up front. Cantaloupe. And the cantaloupe could be apricot to some. White, black, and I popped on the hazelwood. Exactly, and the hazelwood's like a nice stone color. Mm -hmm. I want to show the pretty details in this sweater. So a lot of novelty rib stitching at that raglan detail, which is really pretty. Beautiful braided stitch detail going around the trim of the sweater. So you've got like a nice mix of, uh, of unique stitch detail. Because it's a raglan sleeve, remember that means there's no shoulder seam, there's nothing constricting whatsoever. It's a short sleeve, that's the big call out. Pockets that are substantial. And then it has a high, low hem. So you're gonna get the coverage you want so you can wear this with the leggings, you can pop this on over a dress. And think about when it starts transitioning to that warmer weather, which is apparently happening like any second. I know. Because there's like, there's no winter. This is what you wear, because I think so many times, I. I Friends want something that gives some coverage, but what do you wear when it's hot outside, but you want some coverage? This is that nice short sleeve, and it's substantial. It's really hitting, covering um, half. Yeah, it's half, like an elbow. Yeah, it's like an elbow sleeve, but it's cotton rayon, so you're not going to overheat. It's a really nice fabrication, and I love that high-low hem with that substantial rib detail. So if Adrian wanted to wear this just with leggings and a t-shirt running around she would have the coverage but how pretty it is this over is awesome. the striped dress adrian's 5'9 she's in the large mm -hmm. she is in the green tee over a dress i popped on the hazelwood i am five two and a half i just popped on the extra extra small and it's just easy peasy and awesome and i, I feel like a short sleeve cardigan this is for spring Exactly. Cantaloupe would look beautiful over white. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, we have the black. And then white, we do have in this cardigan, which you know you're going to need over dresses, even though Bonnie styled it in the medium at 5'9 and more of how you'd wear it right now, I feel like. It, it, you know, it, start to transition with the shoe. Exactly. And remember, this is cotton rich. It's a cotton rayon blend. It's a really lovely blend. The big call out is that you've got that upper arm coverage, but it's not a long sleeve cardigan. The pocket detail, which is so nice. And that beautiful, unique stitch detail that we've played around with, with this wonderful uh, novelty ribbing that I think is so fresh and that beautiful, almost like a rope detail going around the neck of the sweater. It's beautiful. It, it, it feels, it just feels really like well done. Every single part of this has some sort of interest to it, and it is so soft, exactly. and the weight is perfect for spring. Like it's not heavy at all. Like it's super, it's super airy and lightweight. If, if it's a hundred degrees outside, and maybe you don't want to wear a tank top without some arm, arm coverage. This is what you wear. So think about the uniqueness of having a sweater with a short sleeve so that you can um, have the coverage when you're doing the tank top. But then you can wear it right now over the dresses. You can wear it over a t-shirt. You can wear this with a pair of leggings. You can dress this up. And the most important thing, there's nothing itchy involved. It's not, you know, a, a lot of sweaters we sometimes see are either super, super synthetic so they don't feel soft or they're itchy because they have a, a wool combination. This is cotton rich, so it's soft on the body. I'm holding this real quick. I would love to hold. The cantaloupe, because I also think I'm, I have on the hazelwood, which is the tan, but I'm going to pop on the cantaloupe. Adrian has on the green tea. Do you give I had to me think this? of the fancy names. Um, I'm popping on the cantaloupe, and then um, Bonnie has on the white, just because I want you to like look. Imagine over How a pretty. swimsuit. I mean, even a swimsuit. When you go to the resort and you're not sure, you have a little shorts. Maybe pop on the swimsuit. You pop this on top, or to dinner with a wide leg linen pant or whatever you exactly. want to do. It's versatile in your wardrobe and I think most women may not have a short sleeve cardigan. That's why I wanted to design this because yeah. I thought about those hot weather moments when you want the coverage but you want to be chic. Mm -hmm. So pretty. So cantaloupe, white, black, hazelwood is the tan and then that beautiful olive color is called Green, green tea, tea, which I love green tea. I know, green, I so love I green tea remember. ice cream. Mm, me too, it's really good. Okay, we're good. gonna have Japanese food. All you can eat sushi around here is a place called, I think it's called Mino. 
Oh, oh. it's so good. Okay. And they have good green tea Date ice cream. Date night, green tea Date ice cream. Date night, green tea ice cream. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. Great to see you. Um, so, do you love sushi? Do you love wine? Do you have a habit of spilling things on yourself? You are going to love this next item. Are we going to spill something on it first? I was promised to start with a demo. <laughs> in progress. Okay, it's in progress. Okay, I'll go through the colors because um, let me bring out Melanie Moore. She's the creator of and the founder of Elizabeth and Clark. 